hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm here back again with another video and it's an everyday makeup look i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel and like this video my girl she got a gun in her hand and she keeps one in her mind baby girl i know what i did you ain't gotta run the amount so run the amount baby i say run the amount let me know how you really feel so you amount. know I got a special spot to help you remember me And every time you leave this spot, you know I get to see What is this magic? I need that magic <laughs> All the fine girls have joined gang I know the good boys have joined gang All the fine girls have joined gang I know the good boys have joined gang You are taking a drink, smoking cigarettes Wearing up black, black, black So I'm going to start up with my spoolie And I'm just brushing my brow hairs in place So I'm using my brow pencil And I'm going in to fill in my brows And I'm just filling it lightly So if you guys would like to see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows, please let me know in the comment section below and I'll do a video on it. So I'm going in with my concealer and I'm using the Pro Conceal and I'm using that to clean off the edges of my brows. I'm doing it for the upper part and on the top part and on the, all those good stuff you guys know. So this a way I like to do my brows. I'm generous with that concealer so it clean everything up and it gives it this clean, perfect and creeps look I'm looking for. So guys, I continue cleaning up. I'm just looking at the places that need correction and I'm cleaning it and adjusting here and there. So I'm using my spoolie to blend in the brow pencil into my brows. So I'm using this black eyeliner at the tail of my brows to make it more realistic. So I'm going in with the blending brush to blend in the concealer on my eyes or under my eyebrows. So I'm just blending it into my skin. So you know, those to get off that whitish all ignore the people walking about in the background ignore the mosquito nets this is my dorm room in school so if you guys want to see any video about my school maybe my money routine or anything do let me know in the comment section below and i'll do a video on that i even want to do a video on it so i'm done with my brows i'm going to moisturize my skin and i'm using my body cream which is the jeggings um, Jergens body cream. So I'm just using it to moisturize my skin there. So I'm going in with my face primer and I'm using the Milani face 24 hours or whatever it is. Is it by Milani or classic? I can't recall. So I'm just pushing it into my skin so as to make my makeup last all day without sweating. So I'm putting it on the places I get oily easily. So I'm using the Lacombe foundation. Ah, I don't know if that's how to pronounce it though. So I'm just going into it. I love this foundation. It's really sheer. Like I don't have a problematic skin. So I don't need a heavy foundation. And besides, it's an everyday simple makeup look. It's not heavy foundation that's going to be right for a look like this. So I love this foundation. It just gives a sheer, beautiful coverage. And... Just see what it makes me look like. So I'm highlighting under my eyes and I'm using the same concealer I use for underneath my brows. And I'm highlighting my cheek, my nose, my forehead. And I'm blending that with a beauty blender. Yeah. Trying to bring forward the places light to naturally hit on my face. So that's what I'm trying to do there. So I'm going in with my powder and I'm using the LA Pride powder. All this stuff are super affordable. So I'm using this tulip style small brush to apply my powder. I'm not setting with a setting powder because I don't want a cakey look. So I'm using my normal powder so it gives this natural seamless look. So I'm done. 
putting on my powder. I'm going to my eyes. So I'm using a bit of concealer to cover up the natural color of my eyes so it doesn't interfere with the eyeshadow. I'm going to be putting right on top of it. And I'm setting that with my powder so it looks natural and gives a smooth canvas for my eyeshadow application. So I'm using my Iceman palette. And I'm using that um, chocolate brown shade there in my crease. I'm using it because it really complements my skin tone. And I don't want anything shouty on my eyes. I'm just trying to create shadow in my crease. And I'm using. I'm going to be using that same eyeshadow to contour my nose. Because I feel it's just perfect. So I'm blending the contour, I'm blending some things out. So to highlight my eyelid, I'm using that sh lighter brown shade from the Iceman palette. So I'm just putting it on my lid and patting that in. And I'm going in with my blending brush again to blend out the harsh lines. And that's what I'm doing. And I didn't go for anything shouty. I went for something simple on my lid. So I'm going in with my eyeliner. And I'm doing some wings because I'm not using lashes. So I'm just doing a wing to kind of define my eyes and bring it out and make it on point and make me slay and, you know, all those good stuff. If you want to see an in-depth eyeliner tutorial, do let me know and I will do a video on it. Yeah, guys. So eyeliner looking on flick. Good. So I'm cleaning the edges of my eyeliner so it appears more sharp and more crisp. And I'm using a, a bit of concealer, not too much. And yeah, that's what I'm doing there. So I got a little bit of powder under my eyes again. So it just looks like I set baked under my eyes. So I'm using my mascara. I'm using the Calvin Klein mascara. So I'm smoking under my lid with that brown eyeshadow I use in my crease and my black liner. So I'm lining my lips with my brow pencil. I'll be using my favorite liquid lipstick on my lips. You could use any one you want and that will complete this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like this video if you do. Comment down below and share this video to your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one love you and bye